How do you feel? Still alive? Je me suis comme ça. Volumes in telematics, they matter a lot. It's a huge difference if you have 1,000 subscriptions or you have 10K. Alexander was addressing this goal to get to 2 million devices as soon as possible. My question is how we can help this community, and especially you, to grow faster. Um, I will share three ideas how we can, can help your business to acquire more subscriptions in an easy way. Teltonica has a long history with Gurtam. We have a great in integration. I will speak what hardware and software combined we can deliver to you and, and we can try to approach few, few of verticals. We have very limited time. One of big areas is car distributorships. In any country you operate, there was a big list of like 83 countries when somebody asked you to say boo. Thousands and tens of thousands of new vehicles are being imported, sold, manufactured in each of your country. And we are facing various issues I'm going to describe. One, one of the most popular solutions that, that is used in this industry is OBD trackers. And you may ask, why? The answer is fast installation. It's self-installable unit. If the installation service, or anybody can just plug in and track it. Uh, why they should do this? It's uh, to know the positions, to get some CAN data, it's interesting. To get the VIN number, I will get to this, so you can identify the vehicles, what exact packaging, uh, what, what the model you have. Also to monitor the health of the vehicles by, by checking DTC error codes. And you can simply multiple time use it. If you are not using it after the vehicle is being sold, you just take it out and insert to a new one. Simple as it is. So, how the end user imagines the process when he's buying the car? He thinks it's quite simple. I just go to a, to a dealer, I select a vehicle I'm interested in, I make maybe a few trials with, with several options, I take vehicle. In reality, it's completely different. The supply chain is complicated, it has several carriers, so it's not one importer who is importing, it's several importers. And usually vehicles are being stored in, in multiple warehouses, in parking lots, kept for, for several moments of time. And, and that causes some issues I'm going to describe. So what offers VLON? VLON gives you all necessary tools to acquire and monitor this data, so you can see everything what, what we are getting from GPS unit. And I'll give you an example of one country we, we, we analyze, but it can be applied for any of those, like, like mentioned, Brazil, Mexico, uh, Australia, Europe, Germany, whatever. So Russia. In Russia, there is 20 manufacturing places in the country. And uh, you, you can see some, some of the brands. Uh, in this video, you see the gray dot is the manufacturing place, and blue dot is where the population, the consumers are located. And if I want from one place where I produce the unit, uh, the vehicle, to transport it to another, it makes like a very complicated spider web. A big transportation if I want, to, let's say, to send Ford from one production place to, to, to my end user. It's quite complicated and it's only with vehicles that is being produced inside the country. But some of the vehicles are uh, delivered from outside, from abroad. Okay, so how we can help it? It's by inventory of audit. So by, by reading this, this information, if I'm the end user, if I'm selecting, let's say, considering to buy Audi, I want a certain package, like, let's say, a red color, automatic gear, some, some, some other parameters, how my dealer knows when it's arriving, uh, if it's available right now, if OBD tracker is inserted, they know when it's arriving, uh, all the necessary parameters, so you have the inventory stock. It's very easy. Another situation happened, for example, for, for one of our clients uh, 
who made the project in uh, Mexico. It was for, for, for a big parking lots. We had several hundreds of, of vehicles. And imagine, you are trying to buy a new car. You go with a sales manager to a parking lot, and the vehicle is not start, is starting. Are you going to buy that vehicle? The battery is, is discharged. So you, you can get a low battery alert. Another thing is that, again, you are going to, to verify to have a test drive, but another sales manager for the same time is, is showing this vehicle for another user. You won't make it. And another thing is you don't want to keep too long those vehicles in your parking lot uh, that are using for, for test drives because the car will lose its value. So as when you reach a certain mileage, it's better for you to sell it and to have another one instead of losing money. How does it look from user uh, experience? User can get additional services like uh, scheduled maintenance. So my dealer is observing the, the situation. He, he knows clearly when I need to change oil, some other parameters. He can call me, plan with me when I'm available, when his technicians are available, and offer this, this nice service. Another thing is gamification. So <clears throat> it, it allows to, to create a connection with, with the end user for, uh, with a dealership. So we know clearly who you are, we, we can keep a connection, and we can increase the loyalty and the relation with you. 24-7 support is, is very easy. Imagine you are driving somewhere out, out, out of the city in the night time, and your uh, car stops or shows some, some warning of, of DTC codes. Your provider knows what happened. He can see, send the help. Or he, he can simply maybe remotely j just de delete the error codes. And some premium discounts as well. OK, let's be specific. So maybe this sounds like a ferry. I will give you a few examples. So Italy. Uh, they needed to identify the cars by wind. It's easy. So, so we know the, the packaging, uh, how it looks. Uh, they needed to integrate to a CRM date of the customer, also date of the vehicle for some recalls for maintenance checking. And maintenance I already mentioned, sorry. And also, of course, we, we use the road assistance so to, to create a higher value for the end user. And this is of, of also after sales service that, that can generate additional revenue for them. It's very interesting. They are usually interested. Okay, Mexico. It was I think it was generated lead together with Gurtam, with Volkswagen and Audi. We needed to locate the car where it is now, when it's arriving. Also, we needed to, to have a delivery schedule because the country is huge. So we, we wanted to, to plan this in, in the future. Uh, the battery status was explained. So sometimes if you keep the vehicle on the parking long for, lot for a longer time, it discharges and you will not, not sell this, this type of car when it's not starting. So to sum up with this small business case, it's, it's quite easy. So basically, this easy tool gives you ability to control the full process. The dealership is, is ensured that he's in control. Users don't have any unpleasant situations or some surprise when, when, when you try to, to start vehicle and it shows you some DTC error codes or whatever. And this will lead that manufacturer is not damaged by, by some unpleasant things. And it gives also ability for after sales revenue stream. Okay. An another idea with the OBD uh, trackers as well. So we can also offer very easy sellable solution for the end users. How we can do this, how the solution should look like. So solution is, is very simple. It, it's made by one of our partners in Uzbekistan. As you see, it's OBD tracker and, and, as, and a smartphone app. What the app should include? And we alone is offering all of this. So of course, location, fuel level, engine temperature, battery status, mileage, error codes, and maintenance. All of this is already available now. So you just can, can, can utilize it right away. Mm, why the end user should be interested in this? So imagine, 
you have a vehicle and you can always monitor and, and have the, the status when something is going wrong. Your provider can always help you and, and say what is going on. So they are always uh, aware of your car status because they are reading car information. We can give you assistance. We don't need to ask you some, some questions. We, we see the car details. We see the car uh, information from the OBD data. Another thing is that imagine you have a son or a daughter, let's say 18, 20 years old, and you are buying or they are buying themselves a vehicle. Usually, if you are a responsible person, you would like maybe to know if they are driving aggressively. If something happens, maybe you are able to locate them to, to assist them. So you can know the location of, of your child. It's, it's still quite, quite interesting, and majority of people wouldn't mind to spend a few bucks for having this option. Vilios, I'm sorry, uh, can we start wrapping up? We're going over time. No time. Yeah, unfortunately not. Okay. Okay, so, so we, we have a stand. We can discuss a lot of good, good stuff and, and some examples because we selected only three. I was able to present two of them. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Just a reminder to everybody, all the hardware partners, uh, they have the stands right outside the hall. So to learn more, please uh, approach them. Thank okay. you, Vilios. Okay, sorry.